In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to use an effect tool called the Garbage Mat in order to combine two videos where you have subjects that you shoot at different times, but you want them to appear as though they were in studio in front of the camera at the same time. There are several different steps in the process and we're going to outline those in this tutorial. But before we do, let me give you a finished example or semi-finished example uh, for a few seconds of what that might look like. And so what I'd like to do is have my friend here tell you a little bit about what the garbage mat is and how it works. Your turn. Well, thank you. A garbage mat is basically a way in which you punch a hole in one layer of a video so that you can see another layer that was shot from the same still position beneath it. And this is why you can get two of the same people on the screen at the same time. In the example above, what we've shown is two different videos combined together. And in this case, we have the same talent. We don't have to use the same person. We could use someone else who was unavailable in the first shoot to be there in the second shoot uh, sometime later. It might be minutes, it might be hours, it could even mean days. And one of the nice things to do if you have a lot of time between your talent is to use a solid background like we have here with a green screen. Now you don't have to shoot green screen. You can shoot your living room or any place else, but you have to make sure that the background doesn't change or things start to look really weird. So what we want to focus on in terms of the difference is simply the talent. Now in this case, what we're going to do is use a green screen uh, just because it's convenient. What does the garbage mat do? The garbage mat basically will take either of the clips, it doesn't matter which one you use, punch a hole in it so you can see the other clip on the track below. And that's the effect that we're going to use. That's what a mat does. So right now I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here and I have two different clips. I have one uh, with a talent sitting in the left chair. I'll move over here and I, here I have another one with a talent sitting on the right chair. And they were shot on the same day, uh, minutes apart, but we're going to show you how to put them together. So I'm going to take either one and stack it above the other. In this case I'm going to take my uh, track on the right and stack it above the other track. Now one thing you notice when you stack is that the track that's at the top is the one that wins. It's the one that you see when it comes to video. So the video track here obscures the video track down here. We're going to show you how to fix that so you can see some of both. But when it comes to audio, you have to be careful. That's not what happens with audio. Unless you completely mute one of the tracks, the audio will mix. And here in the bottom track, you see uh, my talent is speaking and then ends to listen. So I need to move this over slightly if it's going to be a little bit like one is talking and then the other is listening. And here the talking stops and the other uh, iteration of the talent starts to speak. This I would have to reshoot or edit because now I have uh, each version of this person talking at the same, same time. And normally that's not what you want. But uh, given those factors, it, that's part of the setup. That's part of how you block out your shooting. Uh, keep that in mind when you're doing uh, something where you have one or two or three people that are there and you're trying to blend scenes together using this technique. So what we're going to do at this point though is just focus on the video part. And I need to make part of this particular track transparent. So I'll click on the top track and I'll click in the action bar on the right on my effects. Now I could scroll through all of these to find my garbage mat, but I like using the search uh, magnifying glass. I click on there. If I just type in G-A-R, oh, now I've got garbage. It's in the keying section. And I find that I have three variations of the garbage mat. I have an eight point, a four point, 
and the 16 point. Now what's the difference? The basic difference is these are edit points or handles. And the more I have, the more careful and precise I can be in designing what I want to cut out or leave in. Sometimes I want something simple and the four point would work. Sometimes I want as many as possible, so I'll use a 16. Let's split the difference in this tutorial and just use the eight point. So to apply it, all I need to do is take my left mouse button, hold it on top of the eight point, drag and drop it on the video track of what I have in video three here. And so now I have it applied. I'm going to give myself a bit more room and I see that what I have is the eight point garbage mat in applied effects and it gives me the location of the eight points and I can move the scrubber and change any of these if I move the arrow left or right or I can type in a new number but that's pretty complicated the easier way to do that is click on the name of the effect eight point garbage mat and when you do it you see your bounding box with all of the eight points which you can adjust simply with a mouse. So what I'm going to do is take the one in the lower right and it can be off the screen that's no problem at all. Put this one up here. Okay we're going to make sure we go above the head. He's not going to jump up so maybe I can even make this closer here. Go all the way across and then we can go down a little bit and over here and we're seeing the picture underneath the track underneath and this is what we could do to shape it. Now there are a couple things you have to be careful of when you do this. Right now you see I'm very close to the shoulder here. If he moves while the, it's playing I might have some problems because it's going to look different if he crosses the line anywhere. So I'm going to give myself a little more room here. A little more room for the head movement too. So that's not too bad. So now if I go ahead and play this, I'll be able to see the difference. And so now I've rendered it. Let's see what we get when we have uh, the one talking to the other. Again, it doesn't have to be the same person. In fact, most cases it won't be. Uh, but this just gives you an opportunity to create twins if you want to in a particular situation. So the uh, talent on the left talks and stops and looks at the one on the right. And then the one continues the dialogue and we could go back and forth all we want to make it look like they were both at the same place at the same time when indeed they weren't. We're dealing with this in post-production using the garbage mat.